Let's talk about what the game is that we're going to be playing today. Welcome to Dyson Fold, a new dungeon crawler, dungeon crawler game on Steam where you roll dice to, to defeat your enemies. Wow, what a good intro. Um, all right, so let's just click on new game. I'm not really sure what I want to do yet because like I said, I, it kept my progress from the demo. This game is sick, by the way. I genuinely like this game. Uh, full disclosure, they did send me a copy, which I was not expecting them to. There was no like contracts. There was no, hey, promote our game. There was nothing. And I mentioned I was a content creator and they were like, hey, Thanks for playing our game and checking it out. Here's a free copy. Um, I think it's on sale right now on Steam for its official release. It's around like 10 bucks or something like that. But lots of content, which you guys know me. That's a big selling point for uh, for games. Look at all these different characters that are in the game currently. No multiplayer options. It's just a single player. Um, it's almost kind of like a roguelite in a way, except you don't really get stronger. But each of these starting characters has different abilities. You guys will get a feel for it. I'm going to start a run with the Jack. Um, just on normal difficulty, even though we've already beaten this before. It's not a deck builder. It's not. It's 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 more simple than a deck builder. So basically, the way that this game works is there are stages and you want to get to the end stage and beat the final boss in order to win. Um, in order to do that, you have to defeat enemies and you have to fold them. So, for example, this rat that we have in the top left corner, it does three damage to us on its turn. You can see that in the top right and it has five HP. And so the way that we would attack is we have to start by rolling our dice. You barely hear it. OK, and we got a six and a one. So obviously, in this instance, I can put a six on this tile and fold that rat. Uh, killing enemies gives you silver. And then we have leftover dice that we can store for our next turn. Or uh, if we can complete these dice on the right, we'll gain a bonus gold. And the economy in this game is pretty important when you get to like shops, because that is what allows you to buy items and items help to make you stronger etc etc so so we'll end our turn we're on to stage three now we've got a shadow hound and a rat so um the only other nuanced thing is this is a five dice this doesn't mean five hp this means you need exactly a five roll on a dice in order to uh fill this slot and fold this enemy so we were lucky enough to actually get one which is kind of crazy uh, so I'll just go ahead and use it to uh, fold that enemy. And then with this one, the red dice, you can actually drop on your character to heal them uh, for that amount on shown on the dice as well, too. So uh, I'll end turn. We're going to take some damage here. Nine digit Ben. I know it's weird, man. It's my own mistake, though. Uh, we got perfectly the amount to uh, fold this rat. So we'll we'll do that. Moving on. Ooh, Salamander. There's going to be some new enemies and stuff in this because the full game has released now and I'm excited to experience it. All right, we'll roll our dice here. It feels like a shame to waste like sixes on what is, you know, easily killed by like four other numbers of the dice. So I'm going to save this six for now. Yo, appreciate you, Johnny. It's not actually my birthday today, guys. I'm sorry to disappoint you. I just like this was like a clean shirt and I wanted to wear it. <laughs> Oh my God, another six. So we're taking some, we're taking some some hits to our HP right now. I don't know if this is a great strategy, but hopefully you guys understand the basic premise of the game. Um, there might be different final bosses in the demo. There was only one final boss, which was the Hydra, and it was it's a tough fight. OK, we got the four for the toad. We'll take him out. Also over here on the left for the money, every 10 silver converts into one gold coin and gold coins are what you use to buy items from the shop. Um, I guess, what does this guy do? Increase his damage by one. Okay, so we don't have any colored dice. I say we just go ahead and kill this thing. And hopefully we can, we have to roll a one specifically in order to kill the locusts. We can also use our character's ability, which I guess I didn't really talk about that. For the, uh, the character's ability, if you put a dice that's five or higher here, you can activate this ability. And when you use it, you roll two new dice. So it's actually really good. The Jack is a really cool character. It was just the case of using the wrong tool. Um, so I'll, I'll show off the ability here. If we put this five in, it'll activate. And when I do that, it rolls two more dice. And you can actually just chain this infinitely if you get lucky enough. Although I am going to use the red five there to uh, heal our character a little bit. Now we get to choose a companion. This is the whole other mechanic of the game. OK, so companions are neat. Um, they come with their own abilities and their own health bar. And in my experience when playing the demo, they're mostly just like. Like fodder, like I want them to take the heat so my main character can get all the heals and stuff. But let's see what these abilities are. We've got 
gives you a random item when purchased. Uh, but it's kind of like hard to actually use that without blue dice. Choose an enemy to decrease their attack by five. I mean, that could be okay. Uh, roll a dice if you roll six, gain one gold. That's fine. They all have 11 HP, so I'm just going to take the gambler for now. Uh, gain silver coins equal to your gold coins could be okay. Oh, every stage start heal your companion by two. Yoink. Definitely want that. Uh, after using the hero skill, plus one dice for the next roll once per stage. That could be okay. Especially because we have the jack. That could actually be really good now that I think about it. Sounds good, Caustic. Have a good meeting. Once folded, deal its damage to the hero. So that sucks. I don't really know if there's a new way to prevent that. Also, Homunculus is a new enemy type. That's cool. I just love the art style in this game, and it's very endearing. Uh, we also get more dice when we roll now because we have a companion. So definitely want to take care of that. We're going to get damaged by this guy when we fold him anyway. I'm thinking we do this. Oh my gosh. Uh, okay, so we could... I, I think we just double dip. Oh my god, chat. We're going infinite. Oh my god. I'm gonna give my jack all the healing and this guy will die eventually, but I think we get two companions. Okay, that was great. We got the exact amount of dice that we needed to fold all the enemies that stage. That's was perfect. It's finally launched, too. So you guys should check it out in the Steam store. They're not paying me to promote it in any way. I just think it's a great game. All right. So we can kill this guy. Uh, we don't have any fives. I but have we'll crap. just go ahead and slot this in. I'm going to end my turn. <laughs> Putting you in your spot, David. All right. This is starting to look a little bit bleak. And yeah, we did get one of the fives that we need. Uh, what does this ability do again? Uh, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna roll the dice on it. I wanna. I wanted the extra coin, but this also gets us closer to a coin, and it's like guaranteed. So, all right. So blue dice are pretty interesting. I don't think I've covered this yet for you guys on this run. Basically, you could put this in a slot down here for your hero's ability, and it automatically completes it regardless of what the re requirement is. So um, definitely can be nice, uh, but we're going to hang on to that one. And I guess we'll grab this other two. And we'll just end our turn there. Triple daggers. Whenever you roll three same dice, fold a random enemy. That's actually pretty cool, but I don't know how often that might happen fairly often with our jack ability eats all the silver coins and heals the hero for the same amount so i could heal us for five for one gold that's pretty good too this could be a crazy late game though i'm gonna go for the crazy play oh we got the temptress and the golem increase all total slots by one so you kind of want to kill this guy quick Ooh, let's roll and just see what we get. Okay, so let's just kill this guy right off the bat. Uh, I think I will use this a couple times. As many times as is permitted. Nice. Definitely want to keep the heals on our main guy, though. Uh, let's do odd, even... Use the blue dice to use our Jack's ability. That paid off in a huge way. Holy cow. He's going sicko mode. Oh my gosh, you guys seeing this? Oh, okay. So this is actually perfect. I forgot to mention this. So if you roll more than seven times at a stage, the dungeon master comes out and you can't kill this until you clear the stage and he does one damage per turn. Um, but when you roll increase damage of enemies by one and damage your hero by one. So we're at the point now where it's not going to be beneficial for us to um, roll, but we have to kind of keep rolling to try to get ourselves a three. So it just is what it is. 
We're taking one damage every time we miss. <laughs> um. Okay, we got the three, luckily. So not too bad there. And we got close to uh, earning an extra bonus gold as well. We just need a three for that. Crazy world we live in. All right, so you get a four. We'll do this. Um, nice. That wraith is going to mess us up, chat. All of our healing, I usually just dedicate towards our main character. Uh, we'll see if we can get some lower dice for the homunculus. Perfect. Oh my gosh. It's one of the reasons Jack is like the best character that I've played so far. His ability just comes in clutch so often. All right. Our economy is bad this game. One silver coin additional from folded enemies. We don't have enough. Discard your inventory, gain 15 gold coins. That's kind of an interesting concept. So just scrap your run in the middle. And then whenever you roll red dice, gain two silver coins. We'll take that. We definitely need to build up some economy before we get into the late stages. Oh boy. Chaos butterfly. Per colored dice rolled, so not even applied to it. This one is any colored dice we get is going to increase this thing's attack. It starts at one though. Well, now it's at two. So we have eight damage. We definitely need to apply this here. I think we'll do this. And welcome back for your 11th month. I appreciate you, homie. Yeah, I've been pretty good. All things considered. Uh, we have to take out the butterfly here. Just rolled a natural 13. Like, that's kind of crazy. Okay. So we're yet again in a situation where we have to use our ability to try to bail us out. Oh my god, chat. We got the uh, the dungeon master, but it's fine because we ended the, the rounds. So now he can't hurt me, but we can't use our ability either. Can we? It looks like we can use this one, though. To... There we go. That's worth a gold coin. And we'll just keep the sixes. So what do you guys think about this so far? I This is like my type of game, man. I love, uh, I love this, this, this style of game. And um, I like that it's RNG based. There's a ton of content, tons of different characters that you can play as with different abilities. There's trinkets you collect for winning runs. Like I could, I could spend a lot of time in a game like this. And it's, it's perfect timing for me with the whole hand injury, but you've influenced me. Let's go. Um, I've never fought the schemer before. While unfolded, you get le one minus dice rolls and then. OK, so this sucks. Luckily, we got the three and the one. We do need to fish for a five, though. How do we have so many sixes? There we go. Got the five and he gave us two gold coins. Holy cow. All of a sudden our economy is looking pretty good, chat. Uh, I guess we'll do this once. Okay. Oh, did they remove the demo? Oh, that's sad then. OK, well, I take it back. They're like, nope, you guys had your chance. Buy our game. And honestly, I don't know how big the team is, but I'm, I'm fairly impressed with it. Dungeon Master will arrive one turn later. It's kind of nice when we play with the Jack. Complete a random slot of the first attacker in a stage. That's really good. Yeah, we're going to take that. Uh, when gold dice is completed, hero skill becomes available. Ah, that's fine. It's not going to happen very often, I don't think. So we'll take this one too. Spend all our gold. We're at stage 17 out of 30, and we are only on the medium difficulty, the normal difficulty. Prioritize attacking your companion. That's actually great for me. So six, two, um, a 
let's do this. Darn. It didn't really work out the way that I wanted it to, but that's okay. So we get to choose a new companion next turn. Oh! How did I kill that? I don't understand. Oh, I rolled! <gasps> Chat, that thing that we bought! This, uh, the triple daggers. I rolled three fours and it killed this thing for us. That's sick. That was sick, chat. There we go. Now we got a free gold coin as well. Part of me wants to like keep a two instead of a four, just in case we get a specific dice roll that we need. Also, we can gamble. Actually, we can gamble with the... Infinite gambling chat. Come on, baby. I'm just trying to get more gold. Oh, I got gold there. Lit. It was a six. I didn't realize it. Some of these abilities just go infinite. Look at that. That was worth a gold and we got six healing. I've done it. I've, I've ascended. chat <laughs> this is crazy this is one of the reasons i love this game is like the synergies you can get we got five health i will do this for hours if the game lets me oh it's that's uh i was dragging onto the wrong one okay all right i think we're finally unless i want to do this which i do my god okay so we got like 12 healing out of that two gold and look at all these extra dice <laughs> oh, i love it so much all right so at this point as good as the gambler has been in terms of getting us extra dice uh he only has 12 hp left and i kind of want to meet shield now the wanderer is interesting because you don't actually get an ability it doesn't do anything um but he has 30 health so he's definitely a good meat shield uh, painting a random item's fine. Random co uh, common item. I, it's either we stick with the gambler or the wanderer here. I think I, at this point in the stage, as we're getting kind of later into it, and we have 10 gold already, I'm going to take the wanderer. All right. Drop an extra trinket at the end of this run if you beat the boss. I think that would be good for us. First hold of enemy. No. Uh, get a random item when purchased. So yeah, we're gonna buy the earrings of fate and then the beetle of odds, which gave us Nomad's Flintstone where here's health is uh, below 10 get plus one dice roll. It could be the difference maker honestly at the end of the run I'm, I'm down for that uh, This guy's gonna prioritize our companion. That's actually perfect So maybe we'll go after him last although we have enough stored up that we could just kill him So what are we gonna do here? I think we do something like this. And. I'm going to gamble it. Turned out to not be worth it, unfortunately. We could do this, though. Now we're gaming, chat. I want to just keep gambling. It's so hard because okay, so I could kill you and that's three less damage that I take, but then I only have seven and I can't kill you. I don't think there's a world where we ever kill both, but you don't know unless you roll chat. Oh, frick. Oh, no. Oh, OK, OK, hold on, hold on. So now we're at nine. We're at and then two. So we need seven. Oh, I don't think we're going to get that lucky again, but you got to let it ride. Oh. This is ridiculous. Roll it. Oh my God, what is happening? We gotta go one more. 
We got to. We got to. We got to. We got to. We got to go at least one more. Okay, we did it, chat. We are gods among men. That was that was a crazy series of events that just unfolded right before our eyes. A perfect amount of dice from gambling. Let this uh, gambling IRL bad gambling in game. Fantastic. There we go. I put my disclaimer out there for you guys. I don't care. You guys can choose to do whatever you want with your money, but I don't like gambling because I don't like losing my money. At one point, I was up $800 in Vegas, and I only left Vegas up 100. So that just goes to show you. While I still ended up, it could have been, you know, it could have been better. All right, what do we got here? Unfolds uh, slimy piece. That's that's correct. I remember this. If you kill this guy, he comes back, and I think he still has six HP. So let's kill you. Um, oh, I'm stupid. We had the exact twos that I needed to use there. Whoops. I can kill the slime piece, but it's not gonna... I mean, it's it's still gonna... Okay, this only has one attack, so that is worth it, I think. Penny got a new bath. Yeah, Penny was rolling around in some nastiness at the park today, chat. That's all I can say. I guess we'll kill the slime piece. We're looking okay for stage 21. Definitely want to kill you and you. I guess, like, and now I'm at the point where I don't know how much extra gold we're gonna need before the end of the run. So like, rather than putting this in the gold slot, I kind of want to just reserve it to help us with the next stage, if that makes sense. Uh, increase the chance of rolling a blue dice by 10%. So your hero by 10? <sighs> like, this is better, but this is like comfort. Because blue dice allow us to get infinite dice. I guess I'm going to go with this one. The, the health would have been nice, though. Oh my gosh, what is this? Once folded, rolls three colored dice for you. That's so tanky. This is four attack as well. Oh my gosh. Well, time to gamble. Oh my God, Chad, it's working. Okay, unfortunately, we did spot a dungeon master by doing that, but we got a lot more dice now, too. I want to kill the Jin and the Haunted Spirit ASAP. This guy does four damage, too, though. Oh, my God, we messed up. Everyone's attack power got raised because of this. So I have to put the two here. I don't have anything above a five anymore. Way to go, Ben. Nice one. And I could have used one of my fives for this, too. All right, that was that was suboptimally played for sure. I'll be the first to admit it. OK, all right, we're going to take a lot of damage this round. Oh, luckily, our meat shield took most of it. I think that's probably the best that we could have done with those dice. We got one dice for healing. That's good, I guess. Uh, he has seven attack now. This is crazy. Dungeon Master. So you got to be careful not to get the Dungeon Master. That being said, I mean, I think I have to roll here to try to get some higher numbers. I mean, I, yeah, I think we just put these at, at that at this point. All right, they've murdered my companion. However, in doing so, they've made me stronger. I do have a gold dice now or an orange dice. So um, drop on an enemy damage slot to reduce. So that's nice if I want to like, you know, take away some of their damage. I don't need the gold slot anymore. 
This ability is locked too. All right, I guess we'll do this. All right, Venomous Bat, Godling, Jin. For some reason, all their damage went up. Was that because of this guy? Unfolds as Fireball. Enemies gain uh, plus one damage once unfolded. So I got to kill this guy. That's roll our dice. We're in a bad way now, all of a sudden. I mean, we just have to, we're gonna take so much damage otherwise. Definitely take the healing, the healing is nice. So we can do this. I don't think we rolled a six at any point, did, there? did we chat? I don't think so. Okay, we got rid of the bat. That's nice. Oh, I probably should have got rid of the demon, though. I think the demon did more damage. Kill this guy versus healing for sure. That did not drop everybody's damage back down, though. So maybe that wasn't as much of a priority as I thought it was. It's a lot of fun. Um, Again, it's perfect timing for me because I can only really play with one hand at the moment. Tomorrow we'll be back playing controller and Elden Ring. Um, but this is like my type of game. Like I absolutely love um, these like, I don't even know how to really describe it to be honest, but. Okay, so he's dead. Now we just pump. Oh, what the hell is this fireball doing? Dang. Well, we can get the double knocked out. We need to kill the Jin ASAP though. Maybe that was more important. We're probably dead here, chat. We did get a little bit of healing back. Safe to say the official launch of the game is definitely harder than the demo was. Oh, I rolled three ones, so it folded them. That's nice. Uh, there's no penalty for... Oh, I can't roll. As I said, there's no penalty for rolling right now, so we should. All right, probably our last chest. Or maybe we get two more. Four gold to work with. Chance of rolling a red dice by 5%. That's not horrible. Since we're going to get one more shop, I'm going to save my money. Oh, we get a new companion, too. Thank God. Five silver coins into a gold coin. Uh, um, gain one golds. Honestly, I'm just going to take the one with the most HP. I don't think we're ever going to use this here versus our reroll mechanic. So turn and double its attack. OK, we have to kill the devourer. What the heck? Oh, that was so lucky. Chat, that's so hype. Our triple daggers item. We rolled three fours and uh, it took out the scariest enemy for us. Oh my God, that was so lucky. Um, unfortunately, we're kind of in a bad way. That's nice. We're going to get the dungeon master here like any second. I need some low dice rolls. Uh, that takes care of the doubles for me. I'm going to let this thing hit me once and then just roll naturally. I think that was the better call for sure. Take a six, we'll take this five, we'll put these in. All right, that's not so bad. God, we got another devourer and a gin, what the heck? 
Uh, once unfolded, charges your hero skill. Well, that's nice. Okay, so how do we, what's our, what's our winning condition here for this pain that we're in? Uh, that's 11, 15, 22, 23, 26, 30. Okay, so we can kill this. Um, I mean, the next to go would be subject number seven for sure. So maybe we'll do this. Kill all monsters. I'm doing my best, Connor. <laughs> Thank you for the first time, chat. Welcome on in. We are not looking good. Oh boy. Okay, that takes care of you. We're one roll away right now from the dungeon master. So I guess we'll just get him out here. We're just gonna have to, I mean, we just have to go heavy, I feel like. All right, now everything else that we get goes into the gin. Oh, they're attacking just my main guy. Why are they doing that? I think we're dead here, chat. Yep, we died. On normal difficulty too. That was such a cool run though, man. That was really fun. I enjoyed that. Well, ladies and gentlemen, if you enjoyed this game, it is called Dice and Fold. It just released on Steam right now. Uh, shout out to the devs for giving me a free copy and um, go try it out, man. It's a lot of fun. And like, if this wasn't enough of a showcase for you, I'll probably be playing a lot more of it on the channel. So uh, make sure to like and subscribe. And yeah, this is awesome. I love this game.